Uh, I want to thank all of you for your distinguished service and leadership to our country. General Austin, you, in your opening testimony, you talked about Iran and you said that they're having a destabilizing effect on the region. And in fact, there's no indication that they are following a different path than they have previously. Well, we know um, in press reports just this week, in fact, Tuesday, that Iran, the uh, Revolutionary Guard Corps, test fired several ballistic missiles from silos across the country and uh, defying both recent U.S. sanctions. And of course, this follows on um, after the JCPOA was signed, the ballistic missile tests that they did in October and November of this year. Uh, DNI Clapper has testified before this committee that that would be their preferred method for delivering a nuclear weapon. And are you concerned about their continuing pursuit of testing ballistic missiles? Uh, I, I am, Senator. And what are the implications of that? Well, um, certainly we hope that the uh, JCPOA will, will uh, uh, prevent uh, Iran from obtaining a nuclear weapon in the near to midterm. Uh, and forever, hopefully, but uh, this is something we'll continue to watch. Uh, but clearly the JCPOA is not continuing um, deterring them on the ballistic missile program. Would you agree with me on that? I would agree with that, Senator. And, and what I would say is that what uh, we and the people in the region are concerned about is that uh, they already have an uh, uh, overmatch with numbers of uh, ballistic missiles. Uh, they, uh, they are, uh, the people in the region remain concerned about their their cyber capability, their ability to mine the straits, and certainly the activity of their Quds forces, uh, which we see malign activity not only throughout the region but around the globe as well. So there are a number of things that, that lead me to personally believe that you know, their behavior is not, they haven't changed any, uh, any course yet, and this is something we'll continue to watch. Well, I would argue that um, clearly the sanctions the administration did put in place, which I've said from the beginning are pathetic and weak, are having absolutely no impact given that they are now continuing to test ballistic missiles. And, and I, I would hope that we would up our game and impose real tough sanctions on Iran on their ballistic missile program. I wanted to follow